archery season officially opened this week in Missouri, and of course, Adam and I were headed out to celebrate. We've shared with you that we've been scouting for months, and we knew there were lots of acorns developing throughout the proving grounds. During years that the oaks produce a large crop of acorns, it's typically best to hunt in the timber. But during the early season, it seems some of the open grown oaks out in the middle of fields or on the edge of the timber will produce ripe acorns first. There is a large white oak tree in the middle of a food plot we call Big Boom. We've had good success in past years hunting it during the early season. It's just simply a tree that tends to drop early. First afternoon of postseason in Missouri, 2016. Pretty good wind out of south, southeast. We've got a large white oak tree about 20 yards in front of us. It's one of the first white oaks to start dropping acorns on this part of the farm. Growing Deer TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops, also by Ricotics, Trophy Rock, Eagle Seed, Nikon, Winchester, Scent Master, Dead Downwind, Antler Dirt, Lacrosse Footwear, Whitetail Properties, Blood Sport Arrows, Outdoor Edge Knife, Flatwood Natives, Morel Targets, Caldwell, Hooks Custom Calls, Montana Decoy, Summit Tree Stands, Drake Non-Typical Clothing, Howes Lubricator Products, LEM Game Processing, G5 Broadheads, Prime Bows, Redneck Hunting Blinds. I thought it was odd that this young buck and fawns were more interested in feeding on the broadside forage crop than they were coming to the acorns. I wondered if that would be the trend throughout the afternoon. A bit closer to dark and lots of deer are starting to enter the plot. About that time, I caught antlers working into the field. Once we both got a good broadside look, Adam and I knew we had a mature buck in the field. As these bucks continued to feed, more and more deer were entering the plot. We knew we were in for a great show. As the sun was setting, I was becoming anxious whether the buck was going to close the distance in time or not. There were just a few minutes of light left when a mature buck started heading towards the tree. Unfortunately, by the time the mature buck closed the distance to about 35 yards, I simply wasn't comfortable with the shot. How are you? The following afternoon, my dad was able to join yeah. me for a whitetail hunt. Yep. yep. You get my water? Yes, sir. I got your bow already out here. I'll be 85 on October 18th. I've deer hunted all my life. My son is gracious enough to keep on bringing me when I'm in my old age. I love to hunt, and he knows that. And I really appreciate it. And I have a good wife that don't object. And I come every year 
if I get a possible chance. I love it, every minute of it, and I always have. Please, Lord, don't help me get by another year or two. What do you think about how tall those beans are? I never seen nothing like it. I don't know what brand they are or anything, but man, they do, do grow good. The deer have plenty to eat on. One thing about my son, he keeps plenty of food out for the deer, and he stays right with it. I appreciate that. If you was hunting on bare ground, you wouldn't do very good at all. I appreciate him helping me. It was a warm night, and I felt deer movement might be a little bit limited, but I'm always excited to spend time with my dad in a blind. Friday night, September 18th. Missouri's postseason just opened September 15th. Adam and I ran this redneck blind and had a really great afternoon. We saw a four-year-old, some three-year-olds, younger bucks, does and fawns. None of them close to distance till right at dark. But there's a rain front about an hour to the west of us and the barometer's dropping. It's been about 30.1 or so and now it's 29.9 or so. So pretty significant change. We're hoping that bushes the deer out to feed earlier and maybe we can fill a tag tonight. Just about the time we got settled in the blind, we noticed a couple of gobblers working their way up the plot towards the oak tree in front of our blind. The two toms close to distance and actually got in front of the blind, but they were very alert and I didn't feel good about a shot. It drifted on and continued feeding on the broadside forage mix. I'm always a little hesitant to tag a tom during the fall, simply because I love chasing them during the spring and hearing that gobble rumble off the hills. However, I really enjoy fresh turkey meat at Thanksgiving, and I decided if presented a good shot, I'd take it if he circled back around. Sure enough, it looked like these toms were coming back in for some acorns. I was getting excited as it looked like the birds were certainly going to get in range, now the question is, where are they going to get turned right for a shot? I prefer a broadside shot because there's a little bit better view of the vitals on a turkey in this position. However, when his tom was broadside, he was extremely alert. Finally. Tom turned away and gave me an opportunity to draw my bow. At 23 yards, it looked like the shot was perfect to me, and I was disappointed that the Tom actually made it out of the plot. And his turkeys don't have much blood in them. You know, they're, they're made to be light so they can fly, but there's blood that smears on my white fletching and feathers and blood on the white of the blood sport right here. So we rewatched the video, we watched the video and it looked perfect zipped right where the black meets the white feathers right down the spine. I'm surprised it made out of field, but right there dude's gonna look now before it gets dark. So we're gonna take a look and see. Broadhead looks like it worked perfectly. We're gonna take a look, see what we can find. The turkey I shot exited the field right where I was anticipating the bucks entering the field, and it was prime time. The only ethical thing to do, given turkeys don't bleed much, was for Matt and I to get down and start searching for that turkey instantly while we had good light. 20 yards down here, I see Thanksgiving dinner laying on the ground. Back out in the food plot, a little bit away from the bedding area now. Get to really check out the bird, and I am thrilled. Probably over a 10 inch beard. Two or three years old based on the spur length. And I'm most happy that we got fresh turkey for Thanksgiving morning. We're gonna go home, clean this bird, get the old vacuum sealer out, 
and have it all ready for Thanksgiving Day. Even though the mature buck didn't show, we had a successful hunt, and the 2015 bow season is off to a great start. Great beard on this Tom. Long hairs are about 11 inches long, but even more important than that, it's gonna taste wonderful once Miss Tracy's done with it. I used a Havoc broadhead last year, big two inch cut, and I was thrilled with its performance. So I'm shooting it again this year, and you can tell it just made a massive entrance wound in this turkey. When I'm hunting with a bow and a Tom's facing dead away from me, I draw an imaginary line right down its back and right where the wing feathers start showing up. Put the arrow right in there, it's going to run right through the spine or right through the vitals, making recovery fairly easy. Ooh, look at that. About as long as my boot. Think about a bow kill, don't have to worry about picking shot out. After I pull the meat off the breast, I always like to look what's in the crop, so I'll swallow down first things the crop right here. Look at these huge white oak acorns, a lot of wheat right out of broadside. Matt and I watched him just head down eating on that. Some seed heads, but I want you to look at that mass of brassica leaves. Look at this big leaf. Clearly a brassica leaf. And all this wheat, a rascal. Would have been a 40 pounder this spring. Wow. Grant got a turkey last night, so it's time to get it ready for the freezer. We're going to be packaging it in the uh, LEM Max Vac sealer roll material. So we have to cut it to size, put the meat in it, and seal it up on the vacuum sealer. Has a nice wide seal, prevent those leaky bags. We're gonna pack the uh, turkey in here. Trying to push it into the corners. Put it on auto cycle. Grant's Fall Bow Turkey. Okay, looking forward to enjoying this. Thanksgiving or Christmas. I hope you have time to go hunting this week or at least get outside and enjoy creation. But most importantly, take time each day, slow down, and listen to what the Creator is saying to you. Thanks for watching GrowingDeer.tv.